Alright. Well, we have... Hmm. Yeah, we have enough um, eggs to go do the speedway, so let's go ahead and do that. We have enough eggs to do all the levels now, but... <coughs> I want to go ahead and get the speedway done. Because this game's speedways are awesome. Yeah, Sp Sparks actually, like, talks. If you listen really, 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 really closely, I think you can almost make out what he's saying. Not for all the words, but just for, like, certain words. Anyway, um, yeah, now these, uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon speedways have two challenges. There's a time attack, which is basic for all the speedways, and then there's a racing challenge as well. And, of course, there's a hunter challenge. So, yeah, there's three things to do in each speedway. <laughs> I don't remember if there's a, um, I don't remember if there's a skill point for, uh, doing the speedways really fast in this game. I think there is, though. I'm getting the butterflies pretty fast. Well, I didn't get a uh, skill point. I didn't mean to skip that. I mean, I did, but it's like, I thought he was going to say, which challenge would you like to play? But yeah, you get an egg each time you uh, complete a thing. But I'm going to try this again. Close. Hey, last butterfly, where are you? There you are. Okay, is there a skill point? You know, I'm actually going to research this real fast. Because I want to make sure. Okay, there actually are no um, Speedway-related skill points. I thought there was for some reason, but yeah, there's actually not. So we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, let's do the race now. Yeah, <laughs> baby, 
But yeah, the racing uh, mini games in this game are really cool. Look, I don't know if really cool would be the word for it, but I enjoy them. I always like trying to get all the speed boosts possible. Also, yeah, if you flame uh, your opponents, it will stop them. Well, not stop them, but it will slow them down momentarily. Also, oh, I completely forgot to mention something until now. Um, this is also, this is another thing that I actually didn't know about until recently, but um, this game actually has a like uh, I don't know if this is the right word. It has like a dynamic difficulty system. Like, depending on how you play the game, it will actually become like easier or harder over time. Like, the game has no actual difficulty setting, but it's, like, it's able to recognize if you're playing well or playing poorly, and it, like, adjusts the game's difficulty. So, um, yeah, it's, like, some of the races in these speedways, like, if you're doing really good at the game, then the game, like, ups the difficulty of the races by quite a bit. Like, there are some, some races in this game become ex extremely difficult. Like, you have, you basically have to hit almost every speed boost and cut corners as much as you can in order to get through them. If the game has them set to a really high difficulty. But if you... I believe if you, like, fail the races a lot, though, or if you, like, die a lot, then the difficulty of the game, like, starts to decrease... But we won that pretty easily. I'm not exactly sure um, what exactly... Like, I don't know what all gets affected by the difficulty. I don't think the game, like, adds any more enemies or anything like that. Because that wouldn't make sense because, you know, it's like... Like, enemies in this game drop gems, so it's like you wouldn't really be able to add new enemies in without also, uh, you know, like, giving them gems, and difficulty obviously doesn't put new gems into a level or anything like that, because, you know, that's all pre pre-programmed. Program? No. I should say there's like a specified number of gems. It doesn't change depending on your difficulty. That's basically what I'm saying. So, my point in case, I don't think it adds new enemies in, but I might, then again, I might be wrong. It might actually like change the distribution of gems somehow. And here's Hunter. Oh, a bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. I told you all this it wasn't the last I told you all it wasn't the last of them in uh, Spyro 2. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. So yeah, the alien sheep have made a return. Look out sheep, here I come. And yeah, we actually get to play as Hunter. So we have to shoot them down. And I really suck at this, apparently. Wow. I almost crashed into the water there. Yeah, just hold down X to boost everywhere and just hold the fire button too. I guess that takes care of everything. Really noisy, but takes care of everything. Okay, two more. Oh, I just saw one. Ah, oh, there's one. 
Okay, where is the last one? Wait, did I just, like, see him through the wall? I did. There we go. Woohoo! Check it out! The squad leader had abducted this egg! Well, there we go. That does it for Mushroom Speedway. No, we won't, because I just cleared everything out. But yeah, um, again, I'm not exactly sure of, like, everything that gets affected by the difficulty. I just know that some of the mini-games and, um, the speedways get affected. But I don't, I don't know what it does, like, when it comes to enemies and levels and stuff. I don't know if it redistributes the gems among them, and... Like, I don't know if it, like, puts in new enemies and redistributes gems and all that stuff, but... Eh. Anyway, let's do the Tiki Lodge. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Except it's not working. And now it is. Oh, right, it's called Molten Crater, not Tiki Lodge. Now, this is actually a level that we cannot 100% yet because it requires use of a character from uh, the second world. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. <laughs> Great. Sounds like everyone here is lazy. And that just means Spyro is going to have to once again take care of everything by himself. Also, yes, that was a locked chest. Locked chests from Spyro 1 make a return in this game. the noise those whip Rhinox make. They're like, oh! oh no, they don't sound like that. They're more like, oh! I can't make that noise. By the way, when I was a kid, I was, like, obsessive over flaming all these little flowers in the level because I thought there would be, like, a skill point tied to it. I remember I replayed this level time and time and time again trying to flame all the flowers, and it's like, I never got a skill point for it, and it drove me insane because I was like, there has to be a skill point for it. Like, which one am I missing? But, no, there's actually no skill point for doing that. Be sure to keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. And there's the key. Ow. egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was a pretty short level, but we still have some more stuff to do here. This is the door that leads to the thing we can't do yet. Oh, Sergeant Bird, or is it Byard? I don't remember. I don't remember how it's pronounced. I think it's Bird, though. Yeah, um, he's a very interesting character. Spyro, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Moneybags just doesn't care. <laughs> Like, he plays both sides as long as it gets him money. Uh, I just realized that could be that could be taken in, like, a whole other way than I intended. None of that! Okay, I think that's all the treasure we can get in this main area, so let's go on to this thieves' den now. Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. And I hear a shifty looking character. Get a skill point for breaking that wall. Oh, I almost ran off the ledge. Hey, we haven't got any deaths yet. Let's not start. I saw a gem somewhere around here that I missed. Oh, well, there's one and there's one. Okay. That's it. Let's get that thief. That's all the treasure. Good. Bye bye, thief. Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. Yay, supercharge! Get back here! Whoa! 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 Okay! 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 Whoa! Getting a little out of control here. Gotcha! Kermit. Kermit should have been one of the green dragons. Anyway, I... Well, I can't be 100% sure that I didn't miss any treasure anywhere, but I... Just realized that I missed some treasure in here. Let's get that real quick, shall we? 
Okay, now... Well, I can't be 100% sure that I got every single piece of treasure that I can get from this level, but we'll find out later. Once we've unlocked Sergeant Bird and come back to finish this place. For now, we are done at the Molten Crater. At least I think, anyway. How many eggs do I have left in there? I think there's two in the Sergeant Bird area. Yeah, okay. 